Rio. Okay, time to pick a new researcher, and we will be dating Floofy. We're but we're gonna go for another lady this time. Let's do a lady. This Asian lady. Yeah. What's her name? The uh, Christina Takanawa. S Sam Sam Blanca. I, I don't know. <laughs> do it's Christina are we gonna... Takanawa. I don't know. If... Uh, no. Christina T. Christina. Floofy butt. Oh Chances shit! Chances are it'll be me. floofy butt. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go man on man. Floofy butt. Okay, we are going for an Asian lady. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm being a bit heteronormative. Uh, when you play it the way it was intended on oh, a PC Trisha. with a controller. Oh, yeah, right. Trisha Takanawa. Sorry, um, I fucked up. Well, well now we she's anyway, Christina, Christina Yamaguchi. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's Last time I listened to Phil and his David Matthews band and David Clooney. <laughs> um, uh, hey, hello, Maya. Okay, so Christina arrives uh, on the island. It was a long boat journey. My legs are a bit wobbly as I make my way up the wooden jetty to meet the yeti. security guard. My yeti ID. Da, da, da. Here's my ID, motherfucker. It is now the 1st of May. Outdoor fucking starts today. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna go look into what food's happening. Alright. <clears throat> Why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, seven eight, is a registered six offender. <laughs> ah, yes, gunmans. That's a great twist <laughs> on an old joke. I have to walk at quite a pace to keep up with him. No, it's all good. I was just just ace things. He's not the social type, so we trek along in silence until we're in camp outside a large tent. He's waiting for you in there. He's waiting for you in there. Maya, thank you for the host. How is your day? How is your day? Glad to have you on board, Christina. Shall we go? Shall we just go through a few formalities and then call it a day so that you can get some rest before you start work properly tomorrow? I'm Sounds good to me, isn't sir. Tea or whiskey this time? To whiskey. To whiskey. So, first, shall we have a little refreshment? Six is sex, and sex is six in Sweden. Sucks. Wait, no. Six is sex, and sex is sex. Yeah. Everything's sex. Water, coffee, whiskey. Water. Yeah, let's have some water. Let's have some of that magical cat water. I'm parched. Do you have any water? There are natural springs all over the island, but we have the bottle kind too. A bottle of water would be great. I'm not too keen to start drinking from natural Ooh, water good. sources. How is yours? Oh, yeah. No, it's been great. We've been streaming for almost six time. hours. Oh, no, you're right. Let's do it. Thank you. Her... What date? Let's see. Chapter three of hashtag perfect date with Christina. <laughs> and... Wait, wait. I'll just say with Floofy Butt because Christina doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Floofy Butt. Mm. Yas. Yas. Floof my butt, Daddy. Yes. I'm not too keen to start drinking from natural water sources until I'm sure that they're not being used as cat oh, urinals. Yes. Six is sex and sex is sex. Sex is sex. We spend the next hour going through my kit, all typical stuff, apart from my super gadget. It's called a catalog, and it does all sorts of swanky things, even plays music. I meet some of the local cats and learn how to scan them with it, which was a lot of fun. Finally, I'm shown to my tent and settle in for the night. Mm. We're getting speedy through speedy. this. Okay, see you later. See you later Bye. Thank you for coming. So, you have a dream. While I'm unpacking, I find something very interesting under my bed. It's the personal journal of the previous research assistant, the one before me. You didn't say. As I read, I begin to discover there's a lot more going on here than I was told about. It's hard to believe this stuff is true. Maybe the last researcher was prone to flights of fancy? Still, it makes a great bedtime story material, and I stay up reading until my eyelids begin to close. In spite of my best efforts to read to the end, I drift off into a deep sleep. 
Speed is key, and key is speed, and six is sex, <laughs> and sex is key. I wake with a start. I can hear the rustle hey. of paper coming from the tent flap. It's a cat with something in its mouth. Cat it has map. the journal. Wait, but it has run off into the night. I'm chasing the cat at full speed into the forest. I must get that book back. It has everything I need to know in it. I start to feel woozy, and I realize too late that I've strayed into the danger zone. Welcome to the... I'm going to be sick. I close my eyes tight and drop to my knees. It's got really awful porn in it. Like, hand-drawn porn. And it's all cats. I open my eyes. A cat is standing in front of me. It drops the journal from its mouth. I pass out. Trixie! I know, isn't she, Bay? <laughs> she reminds me of Ronya, because she's the same type of cat. Hey, look at me! Hey! <laughs> Here's Floofy Butt. Hello, can you hear me? Katya? Katya! Who's Katya? I caught ya. Are you okay? Here we go again, Suavio. Uh, um, move back a bit, let them breathe. Has it been bitten? The Sphinx cat is standing over me, staring as I open my eyes. Yes, definitely bitten. Look at its hand. Trixie and Katya are Obviously. drag queens? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Maybe I'll name my next character Katya. I bring my hand up to my face, and through my blurry vision, I make out several deep scratches and puncture marks. The cats watch me intently. Is this real? I saw something in the journal about kidnapping. Catnapping! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Trixie or McMurphy. We're sorry, it was the only way. My head has begun to clear, and I realize that if I can talk to these cats, not only is it all true, but it's already too late. I have the sickness. Get down on the sickness. We need to have a talk, human. No, we don't. I know what's going on. I got the sickness. That's why I can hear you. <laughs> well done. You really did read it. Most of it, yeah. So, I wasn't entirely wasting my time. <sighs> Hang on. You? Are you? You figured out. It's not my problem anymore. <laughs> the mysterious cat slinks off toward the forest area. Oh, don't worry about them. They're preoccupied elsewhere. Mm. Help the kitties. Let's do it. Well, of course I am. You need my help. And I need yours if I'm going to find an antidote. So hyped for this. Spoken like a true champion. Well, let's hope it's third time lucky. I thought the last one got pretty lucky, actually. Oh, Ooh. shit, boys. Mm. Unfortunately, the last one didn't get very far discovering what happened to our friends. They didn't make an antidote either. I think with their notes to build on, I'm gonna crack this. Well, I promise to give it my best shot, at least. I love Snooty Booty. <laughs> Hurrah! Respect. Jolly a good show. Oops. Oop, catalog starts beeping. That triggers me, that noise. But right now, I have to get to work. Mmm. Mmm, you cheeky bitch. Mmm. Mmm, indeed. Quite. Quite cheeky bitch. Then my food is gonna be mere moments. Okay. I'm just about to enter the lab to begin my legitimate work when the catalog beeps. A message without any contact information. Loose lip sync ships. I remember reading something about messages in the journal, but I was so sleepy last night I don't recall what it was. Decided to ignore the mystery messenger for now, or I'll be late for work. The professor is already working when I arrive, but I'm not late, so there's no fuss. Da -da -da. Get to grips with finding out all I can as soon as possible. Alright, so we're gonna... What? Doesn't really matter. I feel like we unlocked extras Did when we? we focused on romance, but we didn't unlock any last chapter, yeah. so we gotta focus romance maybe we first. gotta, yeah, maybe we gotta romo romance it. Romance. Romance. Romance in the stone. Floofy butt! Murphy. 
because uh, half Irish and half Madonna's voice. <laughs> I'm not... Oh, sorry. I'm not sure what to expect. I've come to the forest with Floofy Butt for what I assumed would be a pleasant way to spend my afternoon off work, but I've now discovered that he's billing it as an informative afternoon of instruction and practical participation. That sounds suspiciously like a lecture to me. Glitter, thank you for the host. Oh well, as Professor Popper would say, a scientist must keep an open mind. This is something I would normally do alone, but you strike me as a like-minded soul interested in both gastronomic and anatomic pleasures. The fuck? Floofy Butt is probably my least favorite cat. Who'd I mean, look, look at him. Who to guess, then? Mm-hmm. Perhaps now would be a good time to lay down the blanket I asked you to bring. We don't want to put that tender skin of yours under distress. Sammy agrees. Um, I lay the blanket on the ground awkwardly and wonder where he's going with this. Relax, Katrina. This doesn't usually take very long. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he should always call her a different name. Uh. Huh? Because you called her Katrina instead of Christina. <laughs> and maybe, like, another time you should call her something else. It starts with, like, Karen or something. <laughs> 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 Suddenly, without warning, ducks. There's a loud plop as a bird plummets out of the sky Since onto Harry, the blanket. It's much easier. Wait, birds? There's no birds on the island. Told you so. Oh, Ma, it's it's dead. As a doornail. What happened to it? Just the force field, of course. Now, enough foolish questions, Harry. Let's get started, shall we? Just like the lecturers from my uni. <laughs> what exactly are we doing here, Floofy Butt? I told you. Don't use that ridiculous name. I prefer Major, if you please. What exactly are we doing here, Major? This is my little surprise. I am a bird fancier. Suddenly, ducks in the game. Yeah, maybe it was a duck. Oh, and you fancy your birds dead? Quite. All the better to practice my other pursuits. Hello, I'm a piece of garbage. Hey, Swallow, how you doing? We're dating kitty cats right now. Well, we're actually about to eat, but we probably will still continue dating kitty cats while we do it. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Thank you! Uh, we got some lasagna and some chips. Chips, We've chips, got chips, barbecue chips, sauce. Chips, chips, Are you going to use it? Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how you put barbecue sauce on lasagna. Oh, you just smothered all over it. Gross. Mm. Oops, I left the other tray in here. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what pursuit would that be, Major? I'm a self-taught pathologist. Hey, Swallow first. You mean, as in post-mortem? Somewhat rudimentary, don't you know? But I can now find my way around the inmates of the average seagull with remarkable dexterity. Yes, well, whatever floats your boat. I'm interested in crossword puzzles myself. Not everyone's cup of tea, but it occupies a wet afternoon. Wet! Okay, back to the task at hand, Potter. I shall now begin the autopsy. Keep your wits about you. For we were the questions at the end. Uh huh. I knew this was a lecture. Floofy Butt pings out a razor sharp claw and begins to go to town on the bird. I thought it said going down on the bird. Whoops. What? Doctor! Loot's incoming. Incision from sternum to base. Form, focus, spin. determination, non-violence. Those are our... Th that's our motto at Suddenly Ducks. Thank you for the loots. Did you mean how to put barbecue sauce on Crowlow? Yeah, we are having some bitch lasagna. 